Hey everybody, Jim Chester here. I am uh, at the world-renowned Gonstead Clinic here in Mount Hora, Wisconsin. I have uh, Lori Elver here with me. She has been a part of this facility for many, many years. I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about how the Gonstead Clinic has come into her life and her experiences of being here. Hi. Um, I was a child when I started coming to the Gonstead Clinic. I was brought here by my grandmother and my mother who both worked at the facility. My grandmother was a traffic woman in the back of the facility where she would run x-rays, take patients to rooms, take patients to have lab work done at that time. And my mother was a CA up front, which later on she progressed into the seminar world and she ran seminars with the doctors here. Um, when I was young, I always was brought here as soon as you had an earache or a sore throat or a headache. As soon as you had any kind of inclining of any sickness, you came to the chiropractic clinic and either Dr. Gonstead adjusted me or many of the doctors that worked here over the years and interns adjusted me. Um, but yeah, so, and then you felt better and you went home and at one point I broke my ankle in half going down a slide. And as soon as I got home, my grandma's like, we're going to see Dr. Gonstead right now. I was brought to the clinic with a broken ankle, which literally it hung in half. And he took me into the x-ray room and he brought all of the interns in and said, I'm going to x-ray her and I'm going to set her ankle. And they're all like, you're going to set that ankle? And literally he set my ankle. Yes, I screamed very loudly as it was done. And he kept x-raying it to make sure it was in correct position. At that point, he told my grandmother, drive her to the hospital, get a cast on it, and she'll be fine. So as we went to the hospital, we got there, and they x-rayed me, and they were like, how can her ankle be totally broken half, and it's set perfectly? This cannot happen. And they're like, what did you do? And I said, I went down the slide. They're like, you can't break your ankle in half, and it be set perfectly going down a slide. And I'm like... Well, it is, and my grandma's like, well, that's what she has there. It's broken. You just need to cast it. It looks great. Cast it. So they casted me reluctantly because they were like, they were still uncertain as how this break could even be set perfectly. So as soon as I was casted, my grandma was very proud to say, Dr. Clarence Gonstead of the Mount Torb Chiropractic Clinic set her ankle and told us to bring her in here and cast her. And, of course, the medical clinic at that time of day was like, not real happy that a chiropractor had just set my ankle and they just casted it without even having the interaction of setting it. So it was kind of an interesting scenario at that time. And then as I got older, I did my homework in the back corner because my grandma and mother both worked here. So you did your homework. If you were good, you could go down to the Caracol Clinic, which Dr. Gonstead built for his patients. And then I could play in the game room or go swimming and have fun, which the Caracol, years and years of fun down there for everybody in the community. And this facility has helped so many people in our community. I mean, I can picture many, many people that I've known over the years that have come here, gotten significant, significant help from all of the doctors that work here and adjust the patients and treat them with great, great care, get them to good places where I've, I've seen people walk in here and wheelchairs and walk out without their wheelchairs. I mean, it is an amazing place. And what else do I say? Well, the next question I have for yeah. you is, what is it like for you to work here today? I am proud to work here as third generation. Um, I love working with the patients. I love seeing people walk in not feeling well, and as they leave here, they feel great. Um, yes, it might take a few treatments, but the help that they get from here and not having to have surgeries and go through that is amazing. I'm just proud to work here and proud to see the work that's carried on that Dr. Clarence Gons had started. To me, it's been a part of my life. So I just, I'm just proud of what our community has and the doctors that we've trained to become awesome chiropractors and that chiropractor, chiropractic care is a well-known thing. I would like to see the medical profession and chiropractic care work together better. They are getting to a point where they're starting to recognize the medical fields recognizing us more, but I would like to see that interaction a lot more. Um, physical therapists, now chiropractics and physical therapists work well together, but I think there's a lot more that could be done in um, that progression of care for patients. But yes, our facility is an amazing place. Like I said, to me, 
I know I grew up in this world, so to me, I've just been aware of it forever, where other people that haven't been aware of it when they come here, I mean, it is it is an amazing, amazing place. I think until you come here, you can't even respect of the facility, how large it is, and how many people walk in and out of our door every day and get the help that they need. So let's talk a little bit about Tom Potisk and the yeah. Gonstead Guardians and what they're doing for the Gonstead yeah. Clinic. Dr. Tom Potisk has done amazing work bringing in donations to help our facility thrive and stay existent. We have so many expenses that go into this building. We always need repairs. It's large. It is a huge facility. I don't even know the square footage, but it's large. And your upstairs and downstairs are both very large. We have always something that needs to be repaired, something that is deteriorating. It is an old building. The cost to restore it and to keep it exactly in the form that it is costs more so that it does look as good as it did from the original state that it started. But there is a lot of cost. He is putting a lot of effort into bringing donations in. I am working with him to do that, and we appreciate everybody's donations. Um, people have been very generous. We're very, very, very thankful for that. And if you just look around in facilities, there's so much work to be done and the time and the effort. And all of us, you know, people volunteer their time to work here, too, to keep it in good shape. But it does take a lot of money, unfortunately, and the cost of everything goes up all the time. So, again, we appreciate the donations. I appreciate what Dr. Tom Potisk is doing to bring in donations to keep our facility thriving and striving so people can benefit from the care. That, that, that's the biggest thing. So if you guys are interested in helping out with the ambition of restoring the Gonstead Clinic back to its uh, prominence of what we know from, from yesteryear into the next, uh, the next age, um, think about uh, clicking the link that I'll put here into the comments on how you can help support the Gonstead practice and how you can perpetuate the greatness of this facility. And I just want to let you guys know that uh, third generation working in this facility, she saw what this place has done for the community you know, what it's done for her personally, and just giving back with her story. I just want to say thank you, Lori. For thank you, thank and, and to keep, keep, <laughs> keep the care and, and the business alive. That's what it's all about, helping people. Help people helping people. The doctors helping people. That's what it's all about. So Great with that, place. So with that being said, I just want to say, close out and say, you're just one story away. Just keep hustling. No. Thank you, Laurie. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Very nice talking to you. You too. You take care. <laughs> Thank you.